here on the top is the national treasury where we receive money from the exchequer then it trickles down to the county treasury that is based in Wajia from there now we have the suppliers of the contractors who have been awarded contracts are now being paid here I have got a one director by the names of Osman Abijimali who has seven companies this is a man whom I said in my affidavit is an associate or runs proxy companies for the governor and his wife he is paid a total of 305 million 447 589 shillings that is just one director a single release from treasury he can be paid five to six companies when in 2017 at the start of this at the administration of this county government now we have suppliers who have not been paid for a project of one million Kenya shillings so you can ask yourself what is the relation how connected is this person for him to be paid 305 million shillings when a supplier from 2016 or even 2015 from the previous administration will not even be paid one million shillings number two is another uh, is another director who owns four companies Agile Construction, Blue Valley Investments, Triple Isa, Sabaho Investments this is a boy who runs errands because I know and I'm from the county government from Wajia County he runs errands for the first family. We also call him 10% because he's a collector of that. He's the one who deposits money into the accounts of Haira, as I said before. His companies are not even two years old for you to be, to be given such projects. But because of the connection and the proxy companies that he runs for, he's paid 110 million shillings. In one single release, if I may refer you to pages 40 and 41 pages 40 and 41 this contractor was paid 13 times a single director with a, from a release of 199 million shillings is paid 45 million Kenyan shillings when we have over a thousand suppliers in Wajia pages 41, pages 48 and 41. If I may go through, the companies are Blue Valley Investments paid 2.6 million 63,000. Blue Valley Investments 2 million 846, 597. Blue Valley Investments 3 million 120,000. Blue Valley Investments 3 million 122. Come down, Sabaho Construction, 3,213,000. Triple Isa, 3,213,000. Adjua Construction Company Limited, 3,305,000. Adjua Construction again, 3,382,000. Adjua again, 3,397,000. Sabaho again, 3,489,000. Blue Valley Investment, 3,000,000. You come down again to Adjua, another Adjua. On the page 41, Sabao Construction Limited, 3,489,000. Then, if you go to page Page 34, uh, no, sorry, page 35, you'll find the C.R. Toloff for Triple Isa. The, the, the director is Abdirzak Isa Mohamed. You go to page 36, it is a Blue Valley Investment. The director is Abdirzak Isa Mohamed. The governor and his wife gave orders that they needed a vehicle but they didn't have the budget 
So the CEC finance was forced to do it. So he said, no, I don't have. But because of the powers vested, the executive powers vested with the governor, he went ahead, instructed the Department of Procurement to make the advertisements, but there was a protest by the CEC that that is an irregular uh, process. But eventually, a vehicle was bought, KCQ-004U, a total land cruiser. Uh, the point I'm making is that uh, the, the purchase of the vehicle was unilateral, irregular, and had not gone through the normal process of budgeting and approval. For the vehicle, the amount that money was used was 26 million shillings. And on the 2nd of July, Dio Construction Company Limited was given a tender. And uh, in that tender, again, after payment of that money to Dio's account, on the 3rd of July, Dio Construction Limited transferred the sum of Kenya shillings, 2.2 million, 2 million 220,000 shillings, to Mr. Yusuf Mohammed Abdi's account ending with 0967, and on the same day, Cosmos Cars Limited was paid the sum of conditions 14 million from Dio Construction Limited. Arag Construction Limited is a company associated with the governor, and uh, they have just been awarded a, a project, a ghost project, of regulation of waterworks at Fadiwin. It's a project that has never been done. It doesn't even exist. It has not even been implemented, but money has been paid to the directors of that company. A sum of Kenya is 3,376,684. If you even go now to Fadiwin is a location, there is no project of this type in that place. Aska Company Limited was also awarded an, a sup, uh, to supply food to the county government. A sum of Kenya is 23,530,517 was paid to that company. And in Haskell's account, that money was reflected. Then on the 29th of June 2019, Ms. Farhia Mohammed, the daughter of the governor, Wajia, was sent the sum of pension shillings, 4,500,000.